Revelation chapter 2, verse 5 says, Remember therefore from where you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. The book of Revelation begins with seven letters to seven churches, and each church is confronted by a fault or a weakness that Jesus asks them to repent from. The church in Ephesus was a thriving church. It was planted by the Apostle Paul. And in Revelation 2, we see that Jesus commends them on their good deeds and their sound doctrine. But in just a few years, they had lost their first love. And in Revelation chapter 2, verse 4, just before the verse that I read, it says, But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. You have forsaken the love that you had at first. How easy is it when you're a Christian or when you're a churchgoer or even a pastor to become so legalistic around a ritual instead of having this personal, intimate relationship with your Savior? I oftentimes have to struggle with this myself where religion can become a religious duty and Christianity can just become another thing that you are expected to do and it becomes a part of your culture, but eventually you lose this tangible, real, intimate, passionate love that you have for Jesus. And I'm so glad that Jesus does not give up on us. And just like this letter to the church in Ephesus, he calls us once again to remember. He says, remember therefore from where you've fallen. He calls us to repent. And he says, repent and do the works that you did at first. And he says, would you return? Would you come back to the love that you had at first? Do you remember when you were deeply and madly in love with Jesus? If not, today's your day to surrender to Him and begin a deep relationship with Him as you repent from your ways and return to His way of living and loving.